Hi everyone, today I am going to be sharing with you how I created this full makeup look using a full face of NARS Cosmetics, including this beauty. This is the NARS Climax eyeshadow palette. I finally got my hands on it and believe me when I say it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm not going to go into it in masses of detail now because believe me, I go into it a lot. In this video, you may need earplugs handy. Anyway, before I jump into the makeup, I just want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video today. Now, you may remember that I recently mentioned that I'd been for a colour analysis at House of Colour. Turns out that my season is autumn. Now, with me having a neutral undertone to my skin, I can generally get away with silver or gold jewellery. But being an autumn, gold jewellery looks far better on me than silver jewellery. So I've recently been switching out all my silver jewellery apart from my platinum wedding rings and everything which I will not be changing I've been recently changing out all of my silver jewellery to gold jewellery and it's really made a big difference. The pieces that I've got on today are all from Ana Luisa, so I've actually paired these two together. I like to layer my pieces of jewellery because I just think it looks a little bit more modern and current if you do it that way. I love these two together. This one in particular is really ornate, but I've also got a beautiful chunky bangle. This one is a bit like a watch strap and I just thought it was really different. I either like things that are very delicate and pretty or chunky and different. And I also picked up these gorgeous earrings. The little gemstones in here are actually olive green. I will link the Ana Luisa website in the description box for you so you can check it out. Their jewellery is stunning. I've had quite a few comments in the comments section over the last few videos about the jewellery that I've been wearing and it's all come from Ana Luisa. I just like to switch it up and layer it in a slightly different way to create different looks and it's just, you know, complementing my autumn vibes. Okay, so I've already primed my eyelids, ready for this beauty. This is the Climax Eyeshadow Palette, and it's probably the most stunning colour story I have ever seen in a palette. It's right up my autumnal street. So it has the beautiful greens in there, and, you know, I'm wearing green today. I've got my olive green earrings in, but... This blue is calling to me and uh, I haven't actually seen anybody do a blue eyeshadow look with this palette yet. They've always focused on the green, so maybe I'll do that today. I was hoping to keep it a little bit more neutral. <laughs> it's gone right out the window as soon as I've opened the palette. So let's do a little bit of a transition shade with this shade first and uh, then I'll just see where it takes me. I, I am just ready to be experimental with this palette today. The mattes in this palette, of which there are four, are creamy and smooth. The smoothness and the blendability of these shadows is just unbelievable. There's also a lovely creamy metallic and then four shimmery metallics in this palette as well. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. If you're wanting that sparkle, you definitely get it in this palette. But also the four mattes are divine and so easy to work with. I mean, it, it's just effortless. NARS shadows have always been really beautiful, but I just feel like they've really stepped it up a notch with this palette and I've no idea now why I've waited so long to actually buy it in the first place. By the way, I picked this up from Flannels yesterday and then had a little bit of a play around with it last night. Flannels has 20% off all beauty. So it made it a much more affordable visit. I'm not quite sure how much longer that 20% off is going to last, but it was definitely on last Friday when I went in and it was on yesterday when I picked up this palette and an, another couple of bits because, you know, there was 20% off, so it would be rude not to. 
So the fluffy brush that I just used to lay down that transition shade is the Refer 27 brush. It's so super fluffy and gives you a beautiful blend. And then I'm going to pick up my Refer 01 brush, which is more of a flat packing brush. And I will list all the brushes that I've used in the description box. I'm going to go into this burgundy rich aubergine shade and just put a little bit of that on that outside edge. Oh, it's stunning. Oh, it really is. I am after a really deep burgundy nail polish. And every nail polish that I've bought recently that looks like it's going to be a rich, really deep, almost black brown burgundy comes out and it's bright red. It looks deep burgundy in the tube, tube, in the container. I didn't mean tube. Um, but yeah, it looks bright red when it's on the nail. So if anybody knows of a really rich, deep burgundy nail polish, please let me know because I have bought so many and wasted a lot of money recently. <laughs> beautiful shade really beautiful it's almost black i like that i'm just taking that slightly above the crease just to give that lifted effect then i'm going to go back to my refer 27 brush and just blend that out very very lightly then I'm going to dip into the blue. I cannot wait to get some of this on my eyelids. Look how stunning that is. I mean, oh, I always like to use my finger when I'm using any sort of sparkly metallic because I feel like you get a better colour payoff that way. I am going to add a little bit of something over the top just in the centre to give it a little bit more light. I'll probably use this shade here, which is also calling to me. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to take my Refer 15 brush and just buff out the edge. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this champagne-y goldy shade, which is stunning, and place it just in the centre of the lid. This will just open the eye up a little bit and make it look a bit bigger. Love it. Absolutely love it. Wow. And I'm just going to feather that in just around the edges to make sure that we don't lose any of the colour but it's all nicely blended. Oh, I love this palette. Okay so I'm going to leave the eye look there for now. I'm excited where this is going to go but I'm going to finish off the rest of my face and then we'll go back in and finish it off a little bit later. I'm going to use a colour corrector for under my eyes. This is the NARS Creamy Colour Corrector in the shade Light. And I always like to put this down first, then do my foundation, then come back in once this is dried to do my concealer and just correct everything. And I'm just going to pop that in the areas that I need it. Just going back to the eyeshadow palette for a second. I know I'm waxing on about this, so I will shut up in a minute. This is such a beautiful palette. The reason I love it so much is because pretty much all of these shades you would class as neutral shades. You can create a really muted, natural daytime look with this. But if you're one of those people that doesn't experiment with colour very often, this is a very safe way of experimenting because although you can create that really natural, soft look for the daytime or for the evening, you can also be very experimental with colour in this palette without being too out there, you know, without being scared of the shades in the palette. There is a blue, there are some greens. It's just stunning and it just gives you the opportunity to have a little bit of a play. I just, I love it. <laughs> 
I will be quiet now. Okay, whilst I was in flannels yesterday, I also picked up my correct shade of the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This I stopped wearing because I couldn't find my correct shade within the NARS range. I bought Fiji right at the very beginning because I was buying a shade of foundation for the shade of skin that I wanted rather than the shade of skin that I actually had. And then I went for Gobi, which was way too yellow for me. This one is Mont Blanc. So um, it's the shade Light 2. If you are my shade twin, this is perfection on me. By the way, I haven't talked about Paul for a while. I love Paul. Paul used to be my go-to NYX guy in boots in Meadow Hall. He's now moved to flannels on the Givenchy counter. It's such a lovely counter. If you're in flannels in Meadow Hall, go and say hi. He actually served me yesterday because he wasn't busy and I always like to go and give him a bit of a hug when I go into flannels now. So uh, yeah, he actually sold me all these things on the NARS counter because there's nobody on NARS. But uh, yeah, just in case you're wondering, he's still there. <laughs> Go and say hi. So this is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. It is so versatile. It's one of those foundations that I recommend for anybody that's thinking of getting married in the future. If you want to know what foundation is going to last on your skin and look beautiful all day, this is one of my recommendations. It is a lovely foundation. It's not sheer and it's not got a glow to it so I'm not quite sure why it's called sheer glow but it's very skin like it can look very natural on the skin but you can build up the coverage if you require coverage you can definitely get it with this foundation I would say this gives a demi matte finish it's got a slight sheen but it's not satin so it's in between so a little goes a very long way with this foundation. You need very, very little. It doesn't actually come with the pump. If you want the pump, you have to buy the pump separately, which I find a little bit annoying and a bit cheeky, but um, I much prefer it with the pump. They're not expensive, the pumps, but still, I mean, it should come as standard. Maybe a lot of people don't like pumps. Maybe they're listening to their customers. Their customers don't want a pump, so they don't provide a pump and you can buy the pump separately. What are your thoughts? Let me know, are you one of those people that likes a pump like me? <laughs> that came out wrong. You know what I mean. Or do you prefer a pumpless foundation? Do let me know your opinions in the comment section. This foundation is stunning. So for the first time in a really long time, I'm actually going to take this foundation underneath my eyes with a damp blending sponge, just to see what that looks like. It's looking good so far. So then I'm gonna take my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Light 2, I think it is. Yeah, vanilla. And I'm just gonna place this where I need a little bit of brightening. So a little bit there, a little bit there. Not very much of this is needed. It's a really beautiful consistency concealer. Just like it says, it is creamy, it is smooth, it's easy to blend. And if you don't apply too much, this will not crease throughout the day. I have had instances, instance, instance, yes. I have had those occasions where it has creased on me, but that is because I've used way too much. So I'm just going to blend that out using my damp blending sponge. So now I need to set my concealer in place, although, I mean, it's not budging. I need to use the tiniest amount of powder. I just like to press any of the excess in with my fingers. You remove a tiny little bit of the excess with the warmth of your fingertip and then press the rest into the skin so that it doesn't move throughout the day. It's such a nice finish, this concealer. It's 
not matte. It's definitely not a flat matte. It's more of a satin sheen and it's really hydrating. And yeah, like I said, it doesn't budge. So I'm just gonna press a tiny little bit of the Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Pressed Powder underneath my eyes. This is the shade Translucent. I'm not quite sure if this comes in any other shades. I've never actually looked, but this one I really like. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit on my brush, knock off the excess, and just press that where I want it. Now this is light reflecting, so you don't want to put too much of it on, but it hasn't got a shimmer to it, which I really like. I think some under eye setting powders with a real shimmer to them when you go in natural daylight, it can look a little bit odd, should we say? I'll use the word odd. Let's go back and finish the eye look. I'm still undecided whether I am going to go really exaggerated or just mute it just slightly. Let's just go really exaggerated. I mean, why not? Okay, so I'm gonna start by applying a little bit of the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. This is in the shade Mulholland Drive. It's really pretty, it's a bronzy metallic. So I'm going to run that on the outer edge of my upper lash line and then I'm gonna take it all the way underneath the lower lash line as well. Then I'm gonna take a pencil brush and dip into that blue and start from the center of the eye and just start to really smoke that out. Then I'm gonna take some of the beautiful champagne gold shade, pop that in the center. Then I'm gonna pop some on that inner corner. And then finally, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this aubergine shade right to that outer edge just to connect all the dots together and make it more cohesive. Just gonna curl my lashes, then I'm gonna apply a couple of coats of the NARS Climax Mascara, which is an all-rounder mascara. It adds volume, it adds a little bit of length. And I could really do with another one because mine is on its last legs. Okay, let's sort the skin and lips out and I will put the Climax Mascara on my shopping list. I really should have picked some up in flannels yesterday and took advantage of the 20% anyway. I may go back in on Friday, who knows? Okay, I'm gonna go into my NARS Matte Bronzer in the shade Velata, which if you have followed me for a long time on YouTube, you will know that this is one of my ride or die bronzers for a fair skin. It's not orange, it's actually quite a cool tone bronzer and I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna use my Refa 19 brush for this because it's got a slight point, it is slightly tapered. So I like to use the edge of it to pack on the bronzer. I like to use the point of it to carve out my cheekbones and then put a little bit more pressure on to actually buff everything together. So I just find it's a really good brush for this. I don't think this is what its intended use is, but um, it's what I use it for. Okay, moving on to lips and then I'm gonna finish off with blush because you all know that's my favorite part. So uh, I actually don't have a NARS lip liner other than this beautiful warm red one. So that's just not gonna do for today. So I'm gonna have to use my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in the shade Love Trap. Then I'm gonna use my Air Matte lip color in the shade Thrust. I adore this shade. I am in love with this lip color. I'm just hoping that you're getting the correct shade at home on your screens because on my monitor, it's looking slightly more ready than it does in real life. So fingers crossed you're getting the beautiful warm brown. 
that is actually on my lips at the moment. If you haven't tried the shade Thrust already and you like the Air Matte lip colours, definitely give it a go, it's gorgeous. Let's finish off with some blush. I have the NARS Air Matte blushes. Now I've got about six shades in total. The ones that I just can't choose between today are um, the shade Rush and the shade Torch. I think I'm gonna go for Rush because it's just slightly more muted. Don't be afraid of the vibrant shades in the Air Matte blushes. You can build them up to be vibrant or you can have them quite soft and muted if you use very little. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Just enough, just apply just enough. These are so super long lasting. If you're afraid of cream blush or bronzers because you don't think it's gonna last a long time, definitely give the NARS Air Matte blushes a go because they dry down quite matte. They don't stay tacky on the skin and the shade lasts all day. I mean, it just doesn't budge. So I'm just gonna take out a little bit of the colour and pop it on the back of my hand to start warming up because that is the main tip that I can give you. Start warming it up on the back of your hand to really get it workable before you start applying it to the cheek. Look how stunning that is. I mean, wow. You can apply this with a brush if you want to. It's either or. I wouldn't necessarily apply it with a damp blending sponge. I mean, you could, but I don't find you get as good a result. Just gorgeous. <laughs> So that's the finished look for today. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I know this is generally more makeup than I would usually wear on a daily basis and also in the videos on my channel, but it's always good to have a little bit of a change. And yes, I do have to do the school run like this this afternoon. Unless I take it all off, which I am not willing to do, I'm gonna try and wear this makeup for as long as physically possible. I'm really pleased I got properly colour matched for the NARS foundations now. I don't have to keep dodging the NARS foundations that are in my drawer, which are absolutely beautiful, but just not right for me. I'll now reach for this a lot more often. I think it's absolutely stunning on my skin. Once again, thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video today. I am in love with all of my pieces. If you are thinking about getting any jewellery as a treat for yourself or a gift for that special somebody, do check out the link that's in the description box. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.